so we continue working on our project and right here you can see I take some PNG that we created and preloaded them so we have all these different types we also have the um, maps and this is different maps I created inside the filter forge if you don't have this application you can download it, these maps um, for free all the textures inside the pack when you purchase so you can use it overall I'm looking through all of them and I'm just determine which one will work better and this example maybe work better for the where one so I go control all control C to copy next I'm going to um, the file which will be where one okay we'll go to the channels I'm going to create new channel and paste it next I notice it is okay, let me select it's kind of wrong inverted so I press control I okay. control I so right here so I'm invert the selection okay and I press control and click on select on this layer so I select the alpha layer at this moment okay we can go inside just duplicate the layer and all what I need to do to press backspace to delete it so you can see right here it's kind of hard to see but right in this one it's where I added a map if map is too weak for one reason or another you always can increase or you can just multiply I mean this is the simplest way control G just create a bunch of them and merge together so you can increase this way as well let's have it multiple different techniques you can use it you also can go inside the channel alpha map if you want it and just use it um, control L for the levels and just set this way you see the brighter levels if you need it so you can do this as different ways as you like it but overall right here it's applied my texture and it's again this is where um, where we'll go so it's wearing on this area and then next I'm going just to save this image again as PNG so I can reuse okay next we also have deposit and as a flow let's do this one so control all control C copy I want to actually use it probably this sand for that for the flow will be nice and let me just create right here I go to the channels create new channel paste this channel you should unselect control I to inverse okay, we now we can control and click again on alpha channel so we can select it and we can go inside here and press backspace can right here you can see better but if you need it you can just double like control J to press a few times layer merge them together or again work with the layers in other ways it's depend how you prefer it's multiple ways you can do with Photoshop so let me go ahead and save this one and as usual I save as PNG you can see it's a very good resolution on this map okay, and we'll just send this um, is font flow okay, so I'm going to save other ones is the same way um, this one probably will be okay, let me see we have a deposit we have a height so this one probably will be kind of deposit or height so yeah this is probably will be deposited and this one will be height so I'm going to do that way then control all copy go right here you don't need copy I just like to say preserve just in case the copy okay control V control I to inverse click again to select go right here delete it Again, it's too bland so I'm just a little bit increase control oops. 
control E to merge them together. We'll go save for web. PNG, I'm going save and right, so okay, you don't necessarily need to use the view. I'm using as example. So we don't do anything specifically to the view. All what I'm going to do, it is um, loaded height for this object. Okay, and we'll go just select. Okay, and actually right here, save TFF height. Okay, so nothing special. We'll take a camera. Let's move maybe a little bit around so we can preview a little bit better. Okay, material and normally just map it picture, object parametric, and let's preload those images. Okay, the one has its base, and I'll just use it. Um, I don't want transparency at this moment. So just basic material applied to this. No bump maps. Okay, let's set this one. And next, what we're going to add all um, same materials again it's nothing special just map it picture preload it and we have it right here remember was working on this height yes i want to use the alpha transparency same like you can have it be sure it's object parametric whatever application you're using okay we'll go use another one okay we'll go reduce image loading and you can do in different um, ways is as you prefer so right here flow example yes I want alpha for this flow object parametric okay let's go load it um, new map okay I just need fix because it's voodoo uh, kind of do that stuff just readjustment. Okay, we have it. Um, two different mountain wires. So we'll use this one, and we also have we use it height. We use this one, and deposit. So we have it different maps. Okay, let's use a deposit for this one. Yes, I want alpha object parametric, and one more. So we'll go right here, environment, again, map it image. Okay, we'll have it where? Object parametric. Okay, now we can, this is our map, main camera. Apply it, let's go render to screen as a test. And you can see right here, it's all maps is applied. Okay, so we can preview, you can see all flows are applied properly. Right here, edge is way one for the desert, so we can kind of rework. And of course, all is just maps straightforward. And you know, just to finish this kind of preview, so we can, I'm just going to uh, just a couple things. I just always like to create final render so we can have it a nice beautiful look. Okay, and clouds, we don't need it. We'll just add a little bit to this. Let's go to actually right here we edit shadows. Okay. 
Egor. So this is just final render and I'll pause tutorial, we'll come back when the render is completed. Okay, so right here is render done and you can see we created uh, materials that we applied directly as an alpha map. We have this terrain kind of move more as a western with the desert. Uh, you can work a little bit more on a different coloring, but overall here is kind of flow you can apply and create your own maps for your video games or other render. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com